Hello everyone! Today we are going to make a cake. I really feel like making a cake. I started with making a Skinner blend. If you do not know what a Skinner blend is, then please look it up here on YouTube. There is a lot of people out there that made some really good explanations on how to make that. I made mine with a red and a white clay. I folded my strip up like you see me do here. First I was squeezing the clay really good together. When I was ready I started rolling it and I rolled it until I liked the size of this cane. When I was happy with the size of my cane I cut the end off and here you can see the result of this. I made the shape of a cake with some opaque white clay and now I'm just putting on a bit of bacon bond to make everything stick to the cake. The white rose that I just placed on the cake was a old rose. I'm going to show you here how I make the roses. Last time I just took a piece of clay and rolled it out for the center of the rose. Here I am flattening it out and roll it together like you see me do here. Don't make it too thick, that would look kind of weird. Then I am going to cut off some slices of the cane that we just made before. I'm going to take one of these slices and I'm using my tool and I am squeezing it down into my hand, thinning it out. And I'm doing a side to side movement as you see here and I'm making sure to do it uh, with the length of the red and the white. You can either put the red side up or the white side up of your rose. Uh, it will make two different kind of roses. Here I am making it with the red side up. I'm going to make it with the white side up later so you can see that. And I'm going to do this again and again and again with these small leaves, placing it onto my little rose and building up and out so that my rose get the size that I want it to. When the rows have the size that I want it to, then I'm just cutting off the head and I am going to place that on my cake. And then I'm going to make one more. Here I'm going to make the same rows just with the white side up and I am going to speed it up a bit because you know now how to do it. But I wanted to show you how I did it with the white part up.
When I have my roses, I am going to put some pick and bond around the bottom of my kick here. And then I'm going to use some nail art beads for placing around this bottom uh, edge to make it look really, really nice. I do this all the way around the bottom of my cake. I'm using two small roses to place at the bottom of the cake just to decorate it a bit more. Then I took a piece of green clay and I'm going to make some small easy leaves to place between the roses and I'm just going to show you here how I am rolling them kind of oblong and I'm squishing them with my tool like you see here and then I am making the marks for a leaf and carefully I'm taking it off my hand and placing it where I want it. I make a few of these and place here and there on my cake where I think they will fit really good. So I made one of these cakes and I made two of these cakes and of course I made three of these cakes. And then I have this cake stand here that I made on my resin printer and I'm just gonna glue these cakes to this stand with my super glue gel. That was all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please give it a like. It means a lot to me as it shows the algorithm that you like my videos and that type of videos. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.